Many women have fallen prey to sexual harassment due to fear of victimization and inadequate information on human rights and where to report. Therefore, many cases have gone unreported. This has created a conducive environment popularly known as sex for marks in higher learning institutions, also known as sexually transmitted grades. The Rural Women Peace Link Forum on Sexual Gender-Based Violence moved to Masena University, the fourth public institution of higher learning to host the forum. This discussion brought together 100 students, both male and female. Lillian Buire, the program's coordinator, took the students through the Rural Women Peace Link profile. So the Rural Women Peace Link is actually based in Eldoret. We will just go through a, a, a brief slide so that you can get a backing of exactly who we are and why we are here and the main purpose of, uh, of being with you even as a, as a university. So our particular interest is make sure, making sure that we are addressing the needs of a woman and the woman is coming to the fore, they can speak. That's what I really liked when you are all participating. So at the end of the day, we want to see a well-informed, gender-sensitive gender society that values and practices peace, promotes coexistence and culture where women's contributions matter. I think I've summarized that. And so we are here to mobilize, we are here to influence and we are here to ensure that you are participating, even as local women in, in, in all your community, in terms of government, and all those issues that are pertaining to your own personal development and communities at large. I'm very happy with uh, the Rural Women Peace Link, uh, the thought of having this workshop, and I want to thank them very much for thinking of Masen. And already, even with the introductions, I'm sure they are saying that we are students who are different. Not different students, is it? Yes. Different students go to university, different universities. But we have that tradition. And we have. So we thank you very much uh, for thinking of us and part partnering with us for this very important workshop. And uh, as you can see, we are going to talk about uh, Sexual and gender-based violence. Sexual and gender-based violence. This is a very big issue. And I would say in all our institutions of, of learning. Thereafter, Christine Nabuire, a student counselor at Egerton University, made an introduction of sexual gender-based violence and a few case studies at Egerton University. John Yandoro, an advocate of the High Court, touched on bodily integrity, human rights, and the Sexual Offences Act as stipulated in the Constitution. Uh, what uh, Madam Christine said about sexual and gender-based violence, these are violations of uh, bodily integrity. That's why we are talking about this subject, so that we can all understand that our bodies are supposed to be treasured and be kept only for the purposes they were created for. During the plenary session led by Liz Akinyi, a fourth year student at Mo University, the participants got the opportunity to share the experiences of this little spoken yet strongly present vice. Yeah, people look at me the way I have wanted them to see. So number one, what I'm trying to say is the first thing people will see what you want them to see. So if you're wearing that um, low rider thingy that chicks we do wear, you're exposing, your boobs are threatening to spill over. That's what you want Mwalimu to see, right? So Akipana, is he on the roof? Sinio Unataka. I am trying to say that the, everyone is responsible for themselves and how they portray themselves. There are these uh, students who come to class late. Now, they come to class late, 
and then uh, the uh, the loin. I, I don't know if I don't know if, if it is a loin. I don't know if, if it is. But that dress, it okay. It is long enough to cover the places it deserves to cover, but it is not long enough. Uh, it is short enough to expose all the paraphernalia that are making up this gate. So when they walk along that, when they walk along the the the, the class, maybe they just come and they end, and I'm sitting there, you know. I'm a human being with emotions in the warm blood. So, as, as, <laughs> it is not hot, but please, warm. So, as it is, as, as uh, that creator, that creature, or that kind of a person passes along that way, I'm not at peace with my brother. Uh, are you going to son? Yes, I'm not at peace with my brother. Okay, my third leg. <laughs> Violation means you are not consented to write. I am not provoking you to do it yet, you are still doing it. That is what being violated means, right? But we are saying uh, both parties are to blame. Ladies are to blame for what happens to them and they are not to blame for what happens to them. That is what I am trying to say, that both parties it takes two to tangle. So let's talk about us here in campus. If you refuse to watch the demands, he'll give you a receipt, whether you're bright or not. You know very well you can pass, but he has the, he has the power, the power of the pen to give you a receipt. And there's nothing you'll do about it, I'm telling you the truth. There's nothing you'll do about it. Maybe in Mu it is like that, but now I am here. I'm talking of what may be happening here. Straightforward. If whatever you want to talk to me about is about education, I think you can talk right now. Uh, uh, anywhere, any, anywhere away from the school premises, there's nothing important you can talk about there. Do you think? Basically, it's not me, but some of my classmates. Yeah. Media class. Media class. Uh, 2009. They got a message, I don't know why, but they were actually approached by this lecturer from another department. That was in first year. Come second year, these guys were having this because they said no. So, lecturers do approach you, and if you refuse, they may give you that reason. I've seen and I've heard that. The opposite is also true. There are girls who harass their lecturers. Yeah, and I don't know if I teach at the university, there was one lecturer who was really beaten and he had to be taken to the hostel by a girl. I think they had a deal that she would get an A. They, do, they have sex and then she gets an A. But of course she ended up with a B or something. And she was not, uh, she said, but the deal was an A. And the girl, was, the lecturer was like, but your performance was a B. <laughs> so she beat him. Oh, it is external exam in our interview. Uh, who, who up the oh, yeah, so there are cases. There, there. The other year, there's, they went for teaching practice, eh? and a lecturer came to complain in my office that he was being harassed by a student. I think he had taken her for dinner or something, and then I tried to take her back. Eh? <laughs> and the girl said, No, no, I want more than dinner, so 20 quarter. And the guy said no. So the student beat him, be bitter, <laughs> beat him. <laughs> and uh, the lecturer came to report to the dean of students. Now, oh, wait, this guy is beating me. <laughs> 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 okay, so it is, it is both ways. 
I know some who. There was a girl, she, when she goes for examination, she sends her own exams. She doesn't answer what is put there, she sent her own exam and then she answers them. And then she goes to the lecturer, you know, I understand I can set my own exam and then, then I pay the penalty and you mark. <laughs> so this time the lecturer say, no, we don't work like that. And uh, she slapped him a few times. <laughs> so things are happening and, uh, and uh, we need to, to work on this. Among the issues raised include students' worry of victimization and the fear of the dean of students siding with the lecturers. I have a class classmate of mine who didn't sit for the exam and she's not even in the disciplines. Clearly there's something fishy going on, you know. And then we just don't know how to say it because even some of my friends, dean, they say, I don't keep a leg up a dean. Dean, of course, that I said, nah. Like, you no, know, there's that perception that dean sides with the lecturers. So I think that's why we don't come to you. We would tell our HLBs, the same, same HLB you've told, the same, same evening they're drinking with this person. Oh, HLB, I shall answer to Africa. No, it's not like that. I shall say, but that's me, I reported him of sexual harassment. Again, he comes back to class. And the same, same cycle continues. So you can find that the office of the dean, they know about confidentiality and all that. What about the rest of the management? Because if the same, same thing, it was media 10 years back, it is still on. So I don't think it, the system is really doing much. That much has decided it. Or they will just do something to justify the fact that maybe I'm not worthy to pass. For instance, Four or other five of his lecturer friends would just decide to fail me too so that I cannot get to that point. Understand? Or even some, they have even been heard confessing, saying, see, you went and said, as long as you're in Marseille, you continue getting this and this and this and on my, in my paper until you clear. So you just have to receive the paper, receive the paper, receive the paper. So to avoid such, and you're like, you're just like a, a chick in front of an eagle. So what you, what you do, you just decide to go quiet for the sake of your degree. So most of us decide to go because we have to save our degree. What I'm saying, most of them would not really, really <coughs> say that they shy away. But what I get, some of them do enjoy, in that they fear or they want to get something out of the lecture. Like if, what if I refuse and he gives me a receipt? That's the notion. Or what if I, what if I do agree to what he wants? Then, he gives me a pass. So, majority, even if it were you, you will not go for a reset. But, you will go for a pass. Because that is the main reason why you are here. And you are supposed to report to the Dean of Students, or you go to the counselor to have that addressed. So it is there, but whether you are aware now, that's a different question. But I've had uh, some department, media, these things, I hear them every semester. And yet students are not reporting. So you'll hear so and so, uh, like the last one I had is uh, somebody got a receipt because he saw a lecturer kissing another girl. So he was kissing and he went into the room and therefore he got a receipt. The Dean of Students came out strongly asking the students to forward their ideas that will help a draft policy to tackle these issues. And I'm working with uh, Dr. Christine Ombaka on that. But that thing, we already have a draft. All we need is your ideas so that we can incorporate it, so that uh, we can take it probably to the Dean's Committee, then to Senate, and then we'll have it in the student handbook after that. Some of us think that Maseno is like Kenya, where they formulate very good policies, in fact, that can be bought by the UN, but the implementation is poor. People do come, they promise. In fact, somebody promises you something better than ever, only to deliver what is worse than hell. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, we, we just want to say that if it is that, then let it be there. It is for our own good. Let, let us walk the talk and not talk the talk. 
some of the leaders in school who are kind of neglected and they're, okay, they're, the administration doesn't think that they have the power to get to the people at the classrooms. If the policies have already been made, the only way we can work on implementation is through the class reps. After all these policies have been made and then the class reps are called and they hold these mini meetings in their class with their class members, it will reach to them uh, easier and faster because after the class, the class rep will announce we have a small meeting, let's discuss, let's talk about our issues and all that and this is what has, this is what is there and this is what you can do if such and such a thing happens. Because most of us, okay, I, I'll speak for myself, at times I don't have the time to read on the notice board or even go through the constitution because I know most of us have not read the school's constitution. So word of mouth is very powerful and if there's, there are any other policies that have been done and implementation needs to be done, I guess that institution should like lie us with the class rep alone because it's not only SOMU that deals with the students. Class reps get better to the students than the whole body. The particular process that we're going through is meant to enable us question some of the good policies that are being developed in this country. Most institutions, most organizations design projects and leave them pending. They don't follow up to find out what is the impact on the ground. I want to assure you, if you're going to develop one, we will try our level best to follow up and ensure that everything is implemented. The Students Council has suggested the formation of a club to which participants swiftly chose interim officials to lay foundation. So you know you cannot be a campaigner against the sex gender-based violence when you are also a victim of the same. That you are also violating other people and yet we want to use you to bring the change that we look forward to. So you have to be exemplary to other people that you are really campaigning against gender-based violence. As a way forward, the media students were to start a radio program which will talk on issues of sexual harassment. Students were to meet once per week and talk about issues that affect them in and out of campus.